In this video, we're going to talk about uploading and downloading files on an FTP server. So there's a few ways you can upload and download files. You're probably familiar with using Google Drive or WeTransfer. An FTP server is something that your client is actually going to own. So it's something that maybe a production house will have in their facility and they'll be able to upload or download things off that a bit easier than using one of those other those other services. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a generic FTP. This one is used for doing speed tests. And I'm going to be using FileZilla as the FTP client. So this is my FileZilla window here. This is the server, the address for the FTP server. Uh, you can go ahead and log on to this too to test it out. It's speedtest.tele2.net. Um, just to give you a rundown on FileZilla real quick, I have the server information, so the host address, your username, password. Port's usually not necessary, but if you get that with the rest of the information, go and plug it in there. And then hit Quick Connect here. In this next window down, you're going to see it run through logging in. And then you'll get this directory listing of whatever the directory is successful. So on the left here, we have my local machine. And on the right, we have the server. You can see the directory here is pretty sparse. Just one upload folder. And then you can see the files down here. It's a speed test server, so they're just different size files. On the left here, we have my computer's kind of folder structure and then a few files as well. I've already downloaded 100 meg and 100 kilobyte zip, so we can use those to test uploading. Then it's just easy drag and drop. So take that 100 KB, pull that into the upload folder, and at the base there, you'll see the transfer go. That one's pretty small. Let's try a slightly larger one. Just drag and drop to upload, and then you'll see this status bar start to go. We get a little ETA over here. And at the bottom, you have failed transfers if anything goes wrong, as well as successful transfers. So you see that file we just uploaded is in here. The log of when it happened and what the file path it went to is. This other file is still going. If we wanted to download, we can just grab a file there and do the same thing backwards, drag and drop into the file path on my side that you want. And you'll see our queued transfer, another file start up. That was another small one, so it went pretty quick. It'll pop into successful transfers here. Uh, if for whatever issues you're having, if you're having issues with the speed of your transfers, I would suggest going to speedtest.net where you can test your local connection. Just hit go here. And this is just ruling out whether the connection to the FTP server is slow or your local computer has a slow connection. In this case, I'm getting 50 megabit as a download speed. So we know that if there are any issues with download speeds, it's definitely on the FTP server side. As that's going, my other upload finished. So we've got three successful transfers. And that's how you use an FTP server.